two. Just got back in real quick. I'm going to knock this recap out. Um, wasn't really going to bother with it because it's a lot of the same cards, but I figured I would toss it up in case anybody was interested. Did the Gator baseball up tonight. They played here in Jacksonville against UNF. Um, worst autograph setup I've ever seen for a college baseball game, but I mean, it's UNF. I'm sure they probably aren't, you know, it's a small school in the Atlantic Sun Conference. It isn't like people show up there to go get autographs. But the security was by, uh, you'd have thought President Trump was there. Um, the way they were checking tickets, you couldn't even go sit in the grandstand or walk into the grandstand if you didn't have a grandstand ticket. It was just really just, I thought it was over the top um, as far as how they were doing it and, and whatnot. They were really, really on lockdown. So we'll probably never go there again. I say that and I'm going to have to go this weekend to get Tim Kate from UConn because they're playing UNF this weekend here. That's going to suck. But at least that's only one kid. Whereas I'm trying to get, you know, five or six Gators. So anyway, really quick, show these off. I'm not going to show them all. Jonathan India, third base slash shortstop on eight. No, they're not on mine. You know, these were 50-50 uh, that somebody sent me from sports graphing. I'm telling you guys, if you're in autographs, particularly baseball, it's a lot of baseball on there. There's some other sports. Y'all need to check out the sports graphing website. It's a good good website. You can get you meet people that'll 50 50 this stuff. These perfect game card, these 10 card lots that I mean, these are only eight, so I've got you know two more for each of these. These perfect game card lots are eight dollars a pop plus shipping. And I got I had people send me these like it was nothing. So I mean, these are cards that I don't have to buy. I mean, win win for me. I mean, yeah, I gotta do the work and get them graph, but I would have to do that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, freshman pitcher. Jack Lefwich, he pitched two innings tonight, gave up a double his first at bat, and then didn't have a base runner the rest of the night, or the rest of his two innings out there. Come on. Let's go. There's those. And again, you know, all same. Like I say, these are 50-50, so. And we got some different ones here. These are some 50-50, and a couple of these were already mine anyway. Um, this guy started tonight, pitched a gem. I really like this. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people don't care about college baseball until he gets to Omaha in the tournament. Man, mercy alive. The pitching that the Gators have is just ridiculous. They have so much pitching. Like, it is – I'm an offensive kind of guy, but the, watching these guys pitch, this kid tonight pitched just his, his tail off. He threw six innings. I think he only gave up one hit. Struck out at least six batters that I remember. I don't remember what his final line was, but good grief. Eight of eight right after the game. Jordan Butler, super, super, well, if I can hold the cards right. I'm dyslexic. Um, super, super nice kid. We got him on this red longevity parallel. That's a, one of the Penny USAs. That's a select. Another one of the Panini USA sets. Longevity Parallel, Stars and Stripes. Another one of these. And another one of those. And that one, that was the big one I wanted. That was for my uh, my Stars and Stripes set. So happy to get this one. Along with these other um, USA cards. But this kid right here is going to be a beast. He actually plays first base and a little bit of outfield. He's listed as first base, outfield, and pitcher. I've only seen him pitch so far, so he may only be a pitcher as far as what they're going to use him for this year anyway, but my goodness, man. Uh, Leftwich is a freshman. He's pitched his butt off so far. He's had three good outings. Uh, Butler's a freshman. He's had two or three good outings. They just got – they're loaded for bear in pitching. Uh, anyway, and doing three of seven is J.J. Schwartz. He's apparently no dupes now. So I had a few of these that were sent to me to 50-50. And this Panini USA card. Come on. I think I'd already had this one signed anyway. And the guy sent it to me to just as a, hey, here you go. And then this one. So no monster um, thing on those. And if I don't get any of the other ones, it's not the end of the world. But anyway, 27 for the night. Not terrible. But I had to work for that 27. Um, just because of the setup. So, 
Um, oh, really quick, I'll show this too while I'm out. This came in the mail today for that tier one set that I'm doing with, working on. George Sizzler. Maybe, there we go. George Sizzler back card, 338 of 399 for the uh, 2011 tier one set that I'm um, doing along with the 83 tops. So anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Don't know when I'm going to have another recap for you. Probably a little bit. The Gators play again tomorrow, but it's in Gainesville. They're playing UNF. I'm not going down there tomorrow after going tonight. And uh, I got I got to put all this stuff up. I still got a box down here with some spring training stuff. It's got to get put up from the weekend. Um, I got a lot to do. Uh, actually, I'm slacking miserably on the autograph pack for the, the two guys, Eric, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I think it's Theodore on or Timothy. It starts with a T. I'm apologizing. I'm, I'm really tired. I've got to send those autograph um, packs out to you guys. I failed. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. They are going to go out to you guys um, and get those in the mail headed your way. I'll throw in a couple of extra since I'm, I took a little bit longer to get those mailed out than I anticipated. So. That's all I got for you guys. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we will see you on the next video.